Now, the way I would define a big player is if they are the dog of their team, the best in their team, the number one in their team, and are the face of their team. For example, if I say PSG, who is the first player that comes to your mind? So you see, that's what I mean. I don't even have to say who the first player that came to your mind was. The way this man has girls on a chokehold right now needs to be studied. Like bro, listen to this. Tell me why I'm in math, right? And me and my friend are debating on who the best striker in football is right now. I say Kane, she says Mbappe. And then the school thought shows up out of nowhere and starts tweaking, kicking my desk and stuff. How dare you? My boyfriend, Jude Bellingham, is the best soccer player in the world. Like, my boyfriend, sister, Jude Bellingham does not know you. You are an underage girl who has been caught several times in the school bathroom with boys doing. <coughs> Quote unquote sloppy activities. We all know Bellingham is the face of Madrid and is having an insane debut season right now. His main position is as an attacking midfielder, and in all competitions this season, he has played 37 games, scored 21 goals, and has 10 assists. Ah, another one that the girls just seem to love. Like, ladies. <laughs> I don't mean to brag or anything, but I kind of look like Xavi. Um, okay, maybe if Xavi looked like Kafu. In all 42 games he has played this season, he has scored 9 goals and assisted 15 times. <laughs> Cole Palmer, him and Thiago Silva have been the best signings we've had since Hazard left us. He can play as a right winger and an attacking midfielder. Mm. 44 games this season, he has scored 25 goals and assisted 13 times. And yes, Arthur, I can hear your crusty fingers typing on your keyboard. Um, the real question is, how many goals has he scored without penalties? Let me get to that. He has scored 9 penalties this season, so 25 minus 9 equals 16 non-penalty goals. And like recently, I can't remember, I think it was a few weeks ago, I saw like an article on Google where Arteta said he wants to sign Palmer in the upcoming season. You what? Arteta, you can genuinely come suck on my nose before you touch Palmer. Whoa, 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 yo, pause. No, Diddy, what the? Why would I say that? But like, come on though, Arteta, why do you have to be so greedy? We already gave you the beta version of Cole Palmer. Guy have it. Now, I was gonna put Rashford as the face slash big dog of United as jokes, but I've actually gained a lot of respect for Man United fans recently for how strong they are. Like, imagine supporting a quote unquote big six club that can't even beat Burnley when it matters the most. And a club that has spent large amounts of money on players that are clearly not worth it. Isn't it crazy? Now, Bruno has scored 15 goals and has assisted 11 times across all competitions this season. You know, Bruno is often compared to the likes of KDB and Odegaard a lot. And people view him as the worst of the three. But I mean in Bruno's defense though, how are you supposed to stack up on assist when you have a bum like Anthony playing up front? Like nah, seriously! Not even a midfield trio of Prime Ozil, Xavi and Iniesta could save that man from his fraudulent status.
the brother is 31 years old, he can play as a left winger and a centre forward and in 32 games this season, he has scored 16 goals and assisted 9 times. Clap it up for bro, clap it up for bro, clap it up for bro. Without Son, Spurs is genuinely nothing. I'm saying it out loud and I'm saying it proud. Spurs is nothing without Son. Okay. We do not care. Like people want to come here and call Chelsea Cole Palmer FC. Bro, Spurs is Son FC. Even as a Chelsea fan myself, I will always ride with Son. Always. You can't hate the guy, man. If you asked me at the beginning of the season who I think is going to be in the title race, I probably would have said West Ham would have been in the title race before Liverpool. Yes. Is this nigga yes. serious? I know that sounds crazy. I know, I know, I know. But can you blame me though? Does a midfield trio of Fabinho, Henderson and a Thiago Alacantro who has legs made out of dust sound like a title challenging midfield to you? Well, that's not the only thing that I was wrong about. Another thing that I was wrong about was Mohamed Salah. I'm not gonna lie, I was on my phone like this expecting Fabrizio Romano to hit us with the Saudi Arabia have just paid 150 million for Mohamed Salah. 30 games, 18 goals, 10 assists, while still being primarily a right winger and a 30 year old man, Jesus. Okay, but now I'm actually right. He's finished this time for real. Especially after how he crashed around a 56 year old man who is clearly losing his mind from several years of psychological torture from another man who somehow always wins no matter who's in front of him. Are you serious right now, bro? Un video mami gente papá. Este comentario me acuerda a una mujer que yo tenía que se me murió de hambre. Coño, ya empezó las notificaciones. No joda. Pues sí, este comentario me acuerda a una mujer que yo tenía. Will you be out to sell a house with big punch, son? <laughs> Yeah, shout out to season, man. Shout out to season, man. Yo, I'm not the fuck out of the team, son.